Well, can there be no more immortal a creation in literature and especially movies than Tarzan? I mean, Edgar Rice Burroughs' famous King of the Jungle has been a uh, staple in movie after movie ever since Johnny Weissmiller started swinging through those vines in 1932's The Tarzan the Ape Man. <laughs> He's still probably the most famous Tarzan of them all, all the way through Bo Derek's attempt to resuscitate this story. Then there was uh, 1984's Greystoke, Lord of the Apes, uh, The Legend of Tarzan, all the way through Disney's animated feature, and that became a Broadway musical. So is there room for yet another Tarzan? Well, I can see why filmmakers, uh, particularly director David Yates, who did the last two Harry Potter movies, uh, was attracted to the idea of reviving Tarzan, especially with the advance in technology with CGI and special effects, making an adventure on this scale even more exciting than ever before. And they have largely succeeded with this version, which stars this time Alexander Skarsgård. He is the perfect choice as Tarzan, by the way. He plays John Clayton III, uh, the Earl of Greystoke. He's left behind the jungle after a, a decade, and he now is in Victorian era England with his wife Jane, played by Margot Robbie. He's trying to adjust to a completely different kind of life uh, when he gets an invitation to return from whence he came. He is no normal man. He was thought to be an evil spirit, a ghost in the trees. No man ever started with less. The King of Belgium invites him to come to the Congo to see all the wonderful things he's done, but that's really a ruse. This guy is not all good. And his henchmen, played by Christoph Waltz, king of the villains in every movie we see lately, is out to uh, do no good. He's trying to lure John back to the jungle, back to this area so he can deliver him to an old enemy, Mubanga, played by Jaiman Ansu, who's the uh, chief of a major tribe there and has never gotten over what he feels was a wrong to him by Tarzan. Tarzan actually turns down this invite, but he's talked into it by George Washington Williams, played by Samuel L. Jackson. He is a former soldier, now humanitarian, who has his own reasons for wanting to go back, and Tarzan is his ticket back. So how you want to play this thing? The leader will come down and we'll fight. Alexander Skarsgård is so much fun to watch in this role and the action and adventure is extraordinary. The special effects here are big and bold. This is being presented in 3D and IMAX screens. This is a bigger Tarzan than we've ever seen before. And I have to say something about the animals. None of them are real, so they couldn't be harmed during the making of this. It is all CGI creations and they're magnificent from the apes to the lions on and on and on. I really love Tarzan's relationship with the animals and with nature, and that comes through so strongly in this version, which is such a handsome looking Tarzan picture. I'm a sucker for these movies. Give me Tarzan any day of the week. I say, go!